Hi, welcome in the Elector Lab. We're preparing a video for our uh, April issue and uh, you might be familiar with this type of displays, you know, the traditional, more traditional seventh segment display or an LCD display. But that was not enough for our friend's friend, which his name is Ludovic. Ludovic said, okay, nice displays, but I have a better idea. And he's actually going back in time. He took some wheels from the pinball machine and used this as a display. And we made a prototype, it's here on the table. You see here the wheels, They're, it's all mechanic, you know, it's got very little to do with electronics. But the electronics part just drives the mechanic system, and the mechanic system works on 24 volts. And if you push the button, it will do a new temperature measurement. And you see it first goes down to zero and then it readjusts itself to the actual temperature. Let's give it a go. For the next project, I'd like to take you downstairs to our uh, audio lab and have a look at a preamplifier. So, if you just want to follow me downstairs. You might remember that more than a year ago we had an amplifier published in Elector magazine. The idea behind it was to use ideal op-amps to create the end stage of an amplifier. Douglas Self, the author and the designer of this project, actually made this. And what you see here are 32 of uh, 5532 op-amps in parallel and they actually drive the loudspeaker. Based on the same principles, Douglas Self now is making a new project and we have been prototyping this project here in the lab. And what you see here is the setup of a preamplifier with ideal specifications. The idea is the same. Um, the principle behind it is that we use small ideal components and um, in this setup it also needs to deal with all kinds of different noises you normally encounter when you're working with audio or signal processing. This will be published in the April issue and I'll take you upstairs to the big planning board to see what more articles we have for you. So here you see the work in progress for the April 2012 issue. It all starts with uh, a review we're doing on the R RL that is difficult, RL78 microcontroller. It's a beast of a board from Renesas. Four pages on that. We have uh, the software defined radio, part two with AVR. Nice uh, detailed article on how it all works. You have to check this out. All over the world there are hacker spaces and we have a small spread on a hacker space from Arnhem here in Holland. Um, four pages on the starters, electronics. Um, you might remember we had a series on the Electrobus and now we have designed a small PCB which actually fits into your main outlet and it allows you to control all your equipment, all your electrical equipment. A small interview with Eben Upton, he is the man behind Raspberry Pi, you know the very 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 cheap computer <laughs> which is now on the market. And uh, we asked him, what are you doing? And he came up with some very clever answers for that. Um, a power supply, specially aiming at embedded designers. A very genius article on how to measure uh, speed of air. I really don't know what the word <laughs> in English is, but it will be all translated and you can read it. Um, then we have the component tips, we have um, the uh, pinball display, we, you've seen that in the beginning of this video. We have an old dictaphone, um, which has been used for many years in offices and uh, we just have booted up one new system again. It's actually there, let me just show it to you. Ah! Look, here it is. <laughs> now this is old technology, but it still works. And uh, Jan Buiting, our English editor, just uh, made it all working and uh, working again. So really nice. Have a look at that. 
Then, back to the board, what more do we have? An article on uh, antennas and how to make it them yourself with ferrite. Is that the right word, Jan? Ferrite? Ferrite. Ferrite. There you go. Ferrite antennas and everything that's there. Um, the preamp article. And to close it off, we have an article on a LED touch panel, which can be very useful and very nice for all your projects. All of this you will find behind one cover, which is this one. So in the shop you can recognize Elector April 2012 and uh, we hope you enjoy it. Thanks very much. <laughs>